sitting in the rain away from the city, on a deserted road, in an isolated town. Present Mike was frozen where he was, not letting go of his friend that died during the assignment. Aizawa was a good friend of Present Mike. However, the friend that Present Mike was holding was the one person he loved, but now they were gone. How can you look peaceful when this happened to you? Present Mike loved your mother very much. The both of them had always spent time together. When the other heroes arrived, Present Mike just carried your mother back to the city, not wanting help. In the hospital, Present Mike asked exorcists and Night Rate for help. Even though they tried to help, it was no use. Forgive us, Present Mike. There is nothing to be done. We did our best. Don't apologize. The both of you tried to help. I can't ask for more. Present Mike had no idea what to do. Only knew that the person he had treasured the most would never be seen again. Aizawa went to see Present Mike, but could not find him anywhere until his phone rang and it was Present Mike. Seriously, you're disappearing on us, not saying why, Mike? No one needs to know. I'll see you around, a razor head. Ending the call quickly, that was when Present Mike left the city to the mountains without his hero gear. Halfway up the mountain, that was when Present Mike seen you for the first time in a few years. Noticing how your quirk was more under control was a relief to Present Mike. The first time your quirk had overpowered you made the police bind your arms and cover your eyes. During the imprisonment was when you gained control one day at a time, and then you were released. Looking at Present Mike, there was nothing to be said. I'm guessing that we are training again, Uncle Mike. It's what your mother wanted. You look grown up now. I'm only 14, Uncle Mike. It's really been a long time, hasn't it? <laughs>